Christine Leahy, and this is The Five on WEEI.com. Spoiled? No, not New England. We've got a Celtics championship, a couple Sox titles, a few Super Bowl wins, contending hockey team, but who's counting? We're spoiled. Admit it. That's what Kerry Burns says when he looks at fans who, instead of being ecstatic over the Patriots' 26-10 victory over a 2-0 Falcons, were acting as if Tom Brady got hurt or Gillette announced they would no longer be selling beer. The Patriots did well. They still do not look like the team they did in 2007, but they're good. So stop being spoiled and focus on that. Check out number one for more. Chris Price has been itching for some good questions from you guys, and this time, you, America, and some other countries came through. This week, he talks everything Patriots, including the future of Joey Galloway, what's going on with the Pats defense, Steven Goskowski, Brandon Tate, and more. Check out the mailbag at number two. Even though they lost to Toronto, the Sox still got to celebrate a wild card berth very early in the morning. So was it a conventional celebration, and should they have been as excited as if they won the division? Terry Francona was on the Dale and Holly show to answer that question. If they're happy that we clinch a wild card spot, I'm happy for them. I just want them to, you know, again, do whatever they want. To... In fact, Tito says he doesn't think they should celebrate any less than normal. We didn't get to see the champagne flowing or any jigs from Papelbon, but they did celebrate. For the entire interview and Francona talking about injuries, playing the Angels, and more, click on number three. Fenway was dark with only a few diehard fans remaining in the stands. In fact, even the players left after their loss to Toronto. All that was left were a few stragglers and the media waiting anxiously for Texas's game in the West Coast to end. And when it looked like the Rangers had no hope left, Alex Spears says the players started to trickle back in to celebrate. For Spears' story about this different entrance into the wild card, a different type of celebration, and four other things we learned, click on number four. Tomorrow's the big day when we'll get our first regular season glimpse of how the Bruins will do without Phil Kessel and what their chances are of going deeper in the playoffs this year. They've got five home games right off the bat, and for Blake Wheeler and the rest of the guys, that's a good way to start off the year. Well, uh, bringing a lot of energy. I think everyone's really excited to get out in front of the home crowd. Um, you know, we have some great matchups and some, some, some great games, and it's been a long wait for uh, myself and, and the team as a whole. So uh, you just want to bring a lot of energy and kind of you know, play as well as you can and uh, show off what you can do in front of the home crowd. Joe Haggerty talks forwards in part one of his Bruins preview today at number five. Those are the five things you need to check out today at weei.com. You may remember a while back when we got duped by a guy who calls himself Big Baby B-Ball. I got the chance to ask Big Baby himself what that Twitter mix-up was all about. I'm Christine Leahy, and that's the five. Whoever it was was an imposter. That was not me. Did you read the comments? Like, it was crazy. Like, I was like, what? And then it kind of like, people kind of believed it because I was going through contracts, and I was like, oh, no, it wasn't me, you know. Somebody's out there trying to beat me, so, you know, it... It's okay, you know, things happen like that.